A baby has died after being left alone while her mother vacationed in Puerto Rico, detectives say. With no food, maybe milk, the clothing she had on, and the diaper she was wearing. Police in Cleveland, Ohio, say the 16-month-old had been left in her crib for 11 days. This woman is being sentenced because she decided to go on a 10-day vacation and leave her toddler at home alone. Yes, I said, I know, let me repeat it. This woman went on a 10-day vacation because she needed a break from her child. 10-day vacation, left her baby at home alone, unattended, at home alone. No food, no care, nothing for 10 days. Now she's being sentenced here. Uh, I have no words, but let's take a listen. A baby has died after being left alone while her mother vacationed in Puerto Rico, detectives say. With no food, maybe milk, the clothing she had on and the diaper she was wearing. Police in Cleveland, Ohio, say the 16-month-old had been left in her crib for 11 days. This baby loved her mother. She needed her mother, and her mother betrayed her. The baby's mother, Crystal Candelario, has been sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for her actions. This is probably one of the most difficult, horrific cases to listen to, to hear, and to see. At Candelario's sentencing, she spoke using a translator. Every day, I ask forgiveness from God and from my daughter, Jaylee. Soy una persona creyente de Dios. I'm a person who believes in God. Really? I reconozco hoy que todos Y todas, muchas ocasiones, somos tentados por el enemigo. And I recognize uh, today that all, me, all of us, uh, are sometimes uh, subject to the enemy. So the enemy made you leave your child at home for 10 days alone? Like, seriously? You're giving, you're giving the enemy, Satan, the devil, too much credit. No, you left your child at home for 10 days alone without any care, any supervision, any provision, because you needed a break. You needed a break from taking care of your children. This is why some women should not be mothers. And I'm going to repeat it. Some women should not be mothers. There's so many women out here who are trying to have children and they can't conceive for whatever medical issue that they have. But here we have this woman left her, has a baby, beautiful child, and you decide you can't take it. You need a break. Okay, if you need a break, get someone to watch your child. Get someone to look after your child if you can't. If you need a mental and emotional break from your child, your baby, Get someone, leave her with care in the super, where she's being supervised, where she's being taken care of, where she's being given food and water and she's her clothing and her nappies are changed and all of the above. But no, because you are an evil, selfish B-I-T-C-H who think that you can just up and leave without any regard for the child that you pushed out into this world. And now you're blaming the devil you're blaming the the enemy? Come on. Dios y mi hija me han perdonado. God and my daughter have forgiven me. Really? I'm going to sentence you to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Good. On count five, I'm going to sentence you to eight years. Run concurrent to count one. I'm going to tell you, Crystal, this is probably one of the most difficult, horrific cases to listen to, mm -hmm. to hear, and to see. And I can tell you that 
I appreciate the fact that the state of Ohio presented this matter in a professional way and the defense has acted in a professional way. Do you have a right to appeal my sentence? Do you have the money or means to hire a lawyer at this time? So, I will continue the video in a moment, but let me just give you some other context. She left her 16-month-old daughter home alone while she went on a 10-day vacation. She's being sentenced to life in prison, as you've heard. So, her name, she's 32 years old. She left Detroit for vacation to, to go to Puerto Rico, leaving her daughter alone. The baby was found soiled with urine and feces in her playpen while... Candelira finally returned. The baby, Jelene, died of starvation and dehydration. When in court, she tried being the victim, saying she was suffering from depression. Okay, as you've heard for yourself, she was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole and good. She should be sentenced to life without parole, possibility of parole, because you can't tell me that a woman like this is going to be redeemed, that you so selfishly and evilly and maliciously leave your 16-month-old baby at home alone, and you left for 10 days. It's not even one day. Even one day is even bad, but 10 days? Like, come on. The, uh, I'll, word, I'll put a word of representative after you. Um, and then... The endangering children because of the Reagan Tokes thing, it would be eight to 12 years. Um, hmm. That would be concurrent with the aggravated murder, which is life without parole. Is there anything else, uh, Mr. Smith, on the effort of defense? Nothing further. Anything on the effort of defense? No, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Thank you. The court's adjourned. And there you have it. Life without parole for this. Uh, evil woman, evil mother, who left her 16-month baby at home to go on a 10-day vacation to Puerto Rico and left a child unattended. No food. Died from starvation, dehydration. You don't deserve, you don't deserve to, uh, to see another day outside.